What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. J. Indiana Jones, Mr. J. And the Intellect. Doing my daily walk, seeing these daily people. I notice now since I've been coming to walk every day, I'm seeing the same faces in the morning. That's what's happening, though. It's routine. Get your health together, everybody. Get your health together. Man, life is crazy. It's a lot going on right now. But uh, send prayers out to everybody out there in Lebanon. I don't think I know nobody out there. I doubt I do. I doubt I know anybody that even got anybody related to anybody that's out there. But that shit was crazy. If you seen that motherfucking shit go off. But this is the crazy part about it. I haven't really did big research on it. I guess I should. Or or uh, anybody who watched the video, you can relate to me and tell me what happened. But, bro, that was a big ass mushroom cloud like. That's just like, just picture an accidental nuclear bomb going off. Like, damn, that shit crazy. Was it accidental, though? President saying that it wasn't. Allegedly, I would say, uh, President allegedly is stating that it might have been an attack. But, allegedly, it's an accident. But, we do know that it's captured on video. And we do know something was on fire before it blew up. And that was what my daughter asked. Like, how was that building on fire before the shit blew up? And I'm like, I don't know. Did they know that it was? An ammonium, I, I want to say they said am uh, ammonium nitrate. I think that's what they said that was in it. Regardless, that's that's some stuff. Like, it's just crazy. I mean, just think of all of the facilities we actually have in the United States of America. Think as much of ammonium nitrate that's located in the United States of America, in your city or in your state, if it is some. And look what that shit did. They said they felt that shit two countries away, boy. They said that that blast made a quake 3.5 on the Richter scale. A 3.5 on the scale from an explosion, though. That was an earthquake from an explosion. So, and that goes into the alleged point of view of, are they letting off a lot of these earthquakes by letting off seismic bombs under the ground to make it an earthquake or is it really a tectonic place moving like they say it is that's a whole another allegedly for a whole another day is earthquakes real is earthquakes fake because apparently we seen that a big ass bomb can make an earthquake yet this wasn't supposed to be a bomb this was just a building blowing up but the building blew up with the bomb utilities inside of it you see what it did that was used that like I ain't scared of shit, but how you gonna get away from that? What you gonna do? It's gonna fry you on the wall. You can't run from that. You see how fast that shockwave move? You cannot run from that shockwave. That is so crazy. Like, like honest, honestly, man, I feel real bad. Like, damn, like, it was innocent children out there, innocent people out there that just got fried, man. Scrambled eggs. Why? Why is the question. Why? More stuff like this, like, shit, I think China's still underwater. Why? You know what I'm saying? Why is China underwater? Why come four months ago, locusts was taking over Africa, South Africa, and the Middle East? Why was locusts doing this? You know, why? We ask these questions. Why? Why? Or we don't have to say why, and we can accept what happened, or we can understand what is able to happen. And stop thinking that nothing can't happen. Because it all can. Whatever can happen is a part of the happening. And the happening happens. Period. There's nothing you can do about it. So even asking the question why. Don't ask the question why. Just know that it's going to happen. What you need to do is start being prepared for everything. So I'm prepping everybody. Purge 2020. Get ready. You see what they're doing. They're crumbling the world all around us. Get ready. Because people don't know how to act. Those people over there in Lebanon that lost their shit, think about a month or two from now what they're going to be doing. They're going to be parading up in other people's shit. Think about the criminals that was in Lebanon that got away, and now they got to move to a different country due to their shit just got torched. But what they going to do in the other country as a criminal? See? So this is what's going on everywhere, though. People ain't looking at it like that. They're looking at the bad hardship that happened, but you got to follow everything that comes with that. You got to change. It's going to be a change that I adore with that. And with that change comes the good and the bad. So you got to be prepared. But honestly, I just want to 
I want y'all to give me a little knowledge on this if y'all can and do y'all research up on it. It's a crazy situation. It's crazy things going on. Um, rest easy, duck. You know what I'm saying? Peace to the brother. Uh, peace to everybody in Lebanon who passed. Peace to them brothers. And uh, I wish Jonathan Isaac a healthy recovery. And I wish him good luck on his ministries. Because his basketball career is probably over. And beyond that, peace, love, and abundance. Love y'all.